A Gateway to Hell, Demons, and Paranormal Nazi Experiments. This is one of the most haunted locations in the whole world. High atop a steep rocky cliff about an hour north of Prague, you will find Hauska Castle. This early Gothic style castle was built between 1253 and 1278 and is home to some very dark and interesting history and legends. One of the first interesting things to point out about the castle is that many of the windows are actually fake. They're just glass panes on top of the wall. Now, why was the castle built to begin with? Nobody really knows. It is believed that it was first built to be an administrative center. It was built with no water source, no kitchen, no fortifications, and for years after it was constructed, no occupants. It had absolutely no strategic value, it wasn't along any trading routes, but it did protect the gateway to hell. Legend says that it was built over a seemingly bottomless pit, which they called the gateway to hell, and at night, half animal, half human creatures would crawl from the pit, as well as black winged creatures taking pedestrians and dragging them back down into the bottomless hole. The castle was built with the chapel specifically right over top of the pit to keep the evil sealed in. Now this gateway to hell has since been sealed, but visitors tend to hear scratching coming from underneath the floors, as well as a chorus of screams. Allegedly, when the castle was being built, the nearby village's death row inmates were offered a pardon if they were willing to be lowered into the pit by a rope and report what they saw. One man who was lowered in began screaming after a few seconds. When he was pulled back up, his hair was completely white and his face had aged 30 years. Supposedly so horrified by what he saw, he was condemned to a mental asylum where he died of unknown causes two days later. To make this place even more chilling, in the 1930s it was occupied by Nazi forces. As documents of their time in the castle have been destroyed, it is completely a mystery what they actually did in the castle. Some believe they were trying to harness the power of hell as well as working on paranormal weapons. After the war, in the courtyard of the castle were three Nazi skeletons. How or why they were killed still remains a mystery as well. The deadliest game show I bet you've never heard of. The show was called The Chamber, and only three episodes aired before it was cancelled. Why cancel it so soon? Well, they literally tortured the contestants. The game was rather simple. In the pre-game face-off, two contestants would go back and forth answering questions. The winner moved on to the main game. The loser was sent home packing. The main game is where you would enter into the chamber. You were offered a $500 buyout if you didn't want to go any further, but nobody took it. When you entered the chamber, you would be strapped into a chair and hooked up to electrodes, muscle contractors, and medical equipment. And then a computer would choose whether you got the hot chamber or the cold. Once the chamber was sealed, the game began, and your goal was simple. Answer as many questions as quickly as you can while surviving the environmental torture that was thrown at you. In the hot chamber, they could increase the temperature up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Simulated earthquakes would also shake the chamber, going up to a 9.5 on the Richter scale. The more you progressed, the more the muscle contractors would activate. The chair would move back and forth, up and down, and rotate in complete circles. They would even drop the oxygen levels in the chamber, as well as blasting you in the face with winds up to 140 miles an hour. The cold chamber was equally as torturous, honestly if not worse. The temperature could drop to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. In the cold chamber, instead of rotating the chair, they would be sprayed with water jets causing ice to form on the players. The game would end in a few different ways. If you answered two questions in a row wrong, you were out. If the medical team felt you were going to pass, you were also out. You could also yell stop the chamber to forfeit, which, surprise surprise, nobody did. A total of six episodes were made, and the three unaired episodes reportedly had an insect chamber, an electric shock chamber, and a water torture chamber. The most you could have won on the show was around $120,000. The most anybody ever actually won was $20,000. That person, Scott Brown, got through all seven levels of the cold chamber and was actually hospitalized afterwards. He then sued Fox and won $100,000. The US president that was fed through his anus for almost three months. Now that I have your attention, we're talking about the 20th president, James A. Garfield. On July 2nd, 1881, an assassin 
Jackson shot the president twice, one grazing his arm and the other lodging firmly behind his pancreas. Many doctors came to assist the president, one of them being Dr. Dr. Willard Bliss. And no, that's not me messing up. His first name was Doctor, and he was also a doctor. He would actually go on to be the chief doctor over the president saying, if I can't save him, nobody can. Over the next several weeks, doctors tried many attempts to remove the bullet using dirty, unwashed hands and dirty, unwashed medical equipment. It's not that medical sanitation wasn't known at the time, it's just that US doctors and surgeons were only first starting to adopt the idea. And not all doctors and surgeons believed it to be necessary, such as Dr. Doctor. During all these painfully disgusting procedures, Garfield was given large doses of morphine as well as quinine, which is a medicine typically used to treat malaria that was wrongfully diagnosed. These medications resulted in him not being able to keep his food down, so they had to find another way. At the time, rectal feeding was quite popular, and it has since been proved to be very ineffective when it comes to giving patients calories or rehydrating them. One mixture they shoved up there was egg yolk mixed with beef extract and whiskey. The egg was then switched for cow's blood, which likely rotted inside of his rectum. So in the end, what really killed the president? Surgical infections, malnutrition, and rectal feeding. Dr. Bliss's treatment of the president was extensively looked at and, as you can imagine, it ruined his reputation.